were actually pregnant with twins, um, and everything was going wonderful. I mean, I was still working full time. Uh, we had no problems with the pregnancy whatsoever up until the morning of I delivered. I came into the house and she uh, told me that something wasn't right. We called the squad and they took us into a community hospital, which is in Springfield. Um, and so they were delivered there. Obviously, they weren't ready to be born at 24 weeks, so there was a lot of hoopla there at the hospital. The doctors would come in and say, you know, it won't be much longer. They're going to go ahead and transport them to Dayton Children's. They brought um, both Jordan and Kylie in in their portable transport units. I was the transporter that transported Jordan from um, Springfield. We got him here and admitted him to one of our bed spaces in the NICU. Then a little while later, the uh, neonatologist and the nurse practitioners um, sat uh, my parents and her parents and I down. And, and that's when the neonatologist um, sat down with the family and told them how severe their cases were. We can't, we can't save them all, but we can help the family through it. The NICU staff, including the nurses, the techs, um, the secretaries, everybody was, were nothing but professional. We stayed um, by Jordan's bed for 114 days, and along the way we met some of the greatest people, you know, both the nurses, the doctors, and we also met some families that we will forever be friends with. They fit him for hearing aids and he'll be getting some scarlet and gray hearing aids here in a few weeks and so he'll be our little buckeye. People that work at Children's, the nurses and the staff and the doctors work at Children's because they want to make a difference in a child's life. Um, we transport because we want the babies not only to have um, excellent care, but we want them to have an excellent life once they get out of Children's.